Hey, welcome back to part two of how to choose the right birth control for you, where we're going to talk about hormonal versus non-hormonal. I'm Michelle with A Step Ahead Chattanooga. And the first thing I want to say is I'm sure you've heard people say, well, hormonal birth control, there are so many side effects. And while there may be for some, it's not for all because every body is different. And the other thing I want to say is that I'm not here to give you medical advice. I'm just simply here to give you information so that you can make a better choice for yourself when you're looking for birth control. So let's get started. Hormonal birth control. Of course, you know all about the pill, the most famous, right? So this is a combination estrogen and progestin. You could also get progestin only, but the majority of pills are typically a combination pill. We have the vaginal ring. This is a combination method of birth control, estrogen and progestin. The next is the patch and it's kind of like a large band-aid. And this, de this device here is, um, both combination estrogen and progestin as well. So, those are the combination uh, birth control that are hormonal. Then you have the depo shot. So the depo shot, this is progestin only. The next hormonal device is the Nexplanon, which is the arm implant. It's underneath the arm here. Here's what it looks like outside of the um, arm. This is a progestin only device. The next hormonal uh, I have here is the IUD and the hormonal IUD of progestin only. So those are our hormonal options. With those hormones, progestin and or uh, estrogen, you may have um, some side effects like uh, irregular bleeding, moodiness, or weight gain that happen with those. But what's really great about those hormonal devices is that they are a prevention method. And how they work to prevent pregnancy is by thinning the uterine lining, thickening the cervical mucus, and they may stop ovulation. With that, I do want to encourage you to have a conversation with your medical provider if you're thinking about a hormonal birth control, simply because if you're, you know, experiencing any changes that you that you're not used to, you want to make sure that you're talking that over with your doctor. The other side effects that I wanted to talk about here are the irregular period. So a lot of times the IUD or the implant can offer um uh, stopping the period altogether. And for some who don't want to have monthly menstrual cycle, that is a really good option. Um, for others, they want to have uh, their period. And so using something like the pill is really good for keeping track of when the period might, might come around. Hormonal birth control can help folks who experience PCOS, fibroids, endometriosis, and acne. And the great thing about hormonal birth control is it can help manage those symptoms that frequently accompany these conditions, like heavy or painful periods. So hormonal birth control can work for some and has a lot of uh, great results because of it. So let's talk about non-hormonal. The first method I wanna talk about is the copper IUD. The copper IUD, as you can see, is um, outlined in copper, and copper is toxic to sperm. That is non-hormonal. Condoms are a great non-hormonal method. So you have the internal condom, which is inserted into the vaginal canal, and then you have the external condom, which is on the penis. Both of these are great non-hormonal methods. The greatest thing about these methods is that they're the only barrier method that can help prevent STI and HIV. So really, these methods should be used with all of the methods that I'm gonna show you. You have spermicide is a great option for extra lubrication as well as um, uh, making an inhospitable environment for sperm as well as the vaginal contraceptive film, uh, which dissolves inside um, the vagina. So these are great methods of um, extra protection um, that are natural as well. Next method is the old school calendar method. So if you are someone who likes to track their period and you're not using a hormonal method, 
This is um, an option um, for natural planning, um, along with checking your temperature, cervical mucus, and just making sure that your um, your cycles are, are regular and also keep track of your ovulation or fertility windows. And what that means is, is during ovulation time, you, if you're wanting to get pregnant, then you know when is a good time to have um, unprotected sex. Otherwise, if you're not planning to have a child anytime soon, that using this method along with a condom is a great method um, of protection. So a double method of protection. Let's talk about side effects when it comes to non-hormonal birth control. So some side effects, um, specifically if you're using a internal or external condom, is that they can be made out of latex, which could, which could cause an allergic reaction as well as lubrication which could cause infection so even you know things like the spermicide could even cause um vaginal burning or itching to occur. For folks who use the copper IUD, they need to consider if they already have heavy or painful periods, a potential side effect with the use of the copper IUD, heavy or painful period. So that's something to consider when using um, a non-hormonal -horm method. And so just make sure that you're talking to your doctor about the things that you um, know you want, and that way you can find the right birth control for you. Those are your non-hormonal options that um, we have discussed here today. So whatever method you choose, whether it's hormonal or non-hormonal, that is really up to you. And of course, having a conversation with your partner and with your medical provider to decide what method is going to work for you and um, why you want those methods. In the meantime, I want to encourage you to come back for our part three, which will be um, the ease and effort of using these methods. Um, but if you already know what birth control you want, uh, give us a call. At A Step Ahead, we provide free birth control at no cost, regardless of your insurance or income status. And all you have to do is call our appointment line number. So call our number 423-265-7837, and we can make an appointment with a clinic that we partner with to get you the birth control that you want for you. And that is perfect birth control. And we look forward to helping you get a step ahead.